Hi guys, my name is Adeline. I'm the mermaid girl that you see when you open up Photoshop. Welcome to the first PS for Kids Photoshop tutorial, hosted by me. Are you ready? First, you're gonna need your handy dandy computer. Watch how I grab mine. Oh, pretty cool, right? Now let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna do is open up Photoshop. And this is the icon. Hey, that's me! You're gonna see this window and you're gonna click on Create New. And then you're gonna create your canvas. You're gonna go to width and type in 4000. Then you're gonna go to height and type in 5000. Make sure you're on portrait mode and your resolution is at 300. Everything else should be fine. Now click create. Ta -da! Here is our canvas. I know Photoshop looks kind of scary, but don't worry, it's actually pretty easy. This is your canvas and these are your tools. And these are your layers. That's all you have to know. Now let's get started. Now it's time to bring in our photos. Go to File and Open. Find your AVAX folder. Click on your desktop. Click on AVAX for Kids. And then click Open. Now we're going to select all of our photos. Balloon, Berry, and Dream Sky. All you have to do is click on your mouse and drag it on. And then let go. And then click open. Now we have all our photos right here. Dream sky, berry, and a balloon. And this is our canvas. The first thing we're going to do is drag our dream sky to our canvas. To do that, Make sure you're on your Move tool, and then click it. See this arrow? And then you're going to click and hold and drag it to your canvas, and don't let go until I say so. Let go. Ta-da! And then you're going to click and hold and move the dream sky until it covers all the white. Make sure there's no white and then you let go. Good job, you have your sky in. I told you it wouldn't be hard. Now let's bring Barry. You're gonna click on Barry's folder right here. Isn't he cute? Let's go to our layers, which are right here to your right. Do you see the little lock? Click it. And now your layer is unlocked. Now we can use a really cool feature from Photoshop. It's like magic. Ready? Do you see up here where it says remove background? Click it. Ta-da! Let me explain what just happened. Photoshop masked out all the background around Barry. And now we can move Barry all by himself. Now you're going to click, hold, and drag to your canvas. Don't let go. And let go. Ta-da! Just in case you don't have Photoshop 2020, let me help you real quick. If you don't have Photoshop 2020, you might not have this feature, but that's okay. There's another trick. Go to your tools and find the selection tool. Click it and you're gonna move it towards Barry. You're gonna use your brackets to make your tool bigger. The left one is to make it smaller and the right one is to make it bigger, like this. Ta-da! Now you're going to click on Barry. Do you see the marching ants? Keep clicking Barry until there's marching ants all around him. Like this. Perfect! Now we're gonna go all the way down 
and click the square with the circle in it. It's called your math. Pretty cool, right? If there's a little bit of the background here, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to get rid of it real quick. Go to your brush tool. Now go back to Barry. Make your brush small using the left bracket. Now color the background. There we go. Now go back to your move tool and click Barry and hold and drag them to your canvas. Great, now we have Barry. Let's keep going. Now I'm going to show you how to make Barry smaller. Look at your keyboard and click Command T. You see these white squares? Click and hold and drag them. And you'll see he start to get smaller. Ta-da! Now grab Barry and move him to the middle. When you're all done, click enter. Now it's time to bring in our balloon. Go to your balloon file. We're going to do the same thing that we did with Barry. First, unlock your layer and click on remove background. Ta-da! Remember, if you don't have Photoshop 2020, just use the selection tool right here. I'll show you how. Again, click on your unlock. Now go to your selection tool and then click on the balloon, just like we did with Barry until it's all selected. Ta-da! Then you click on your mask. Easy peasy, right? Now let's go back to our move tool and then click and hold and drag to your canvas. And then let go. Perfect. Now let's make the balloon smaller, just like we did with Barry. Click Command T. And click the little squares to make it smaller. Perfect. Now bring your balloon in right here and keep sizing it. That looks good. Now I'm going to show you how to turn your balloon. Go to edit. Click on transform. Go all the way down and click on flip vertical. Ta-da! And now click and move your balloon to the middle. That looks good. Now it's time for the fun part. We're going to change the color of our balloon. Go to the bottom where you see the circle that is black and white. Click it. It's called an adjustment layer. And you're going to select hue and saturation. Now this part's a little tricky, but don't worry, you can do this. Remember our layers? You're going to go in the middle of the adjustment layer and the balloon layer, like this. Now you're going to hold down Option and move your mouse right in the middle. Do you see that? The little arrow and the square? Now watch this, I'm going to let go of the Option. And now it's gone. Let's click it again. There it is again. Now you're going to click with your mouse while holding down Option. Ta-da! Do you see how there's an arrow now? That means only the balloon will change colors. Now let's get to the fun stuff. Now go to the top where you see this rainbow slider. And then you're going to click and hold on this little white arrow and you can move it to whatever color you want. Do you see how the balloon is changing colors? Pretty cool, right? My favorite color is green. Great! Now that you have your color picked, we're going to draw on the balloon string. To do this, go down to the bottom and click on the square with the plus sign. That's called creating a new layer. Now you're going to go to your brush tool where there's a little brush. Do you see how it turns into a little circle? You can make your brush bigger and smaller using the brackets. 
Remember, left makes it smaller, like this, and right makes it bigger, like this. We're going to make it super small, like a string. That's good. It looks like a dot. Do you see that? Now you're going to click on this little box right here. That's going to bring up your color picker. You can pick whatever color you want for the string. You can move these arrows to change colors. I want to make my string white, so I'm going to click on the white. Then click OK once you've chosen your color. You see the little square is now the color that you chose? Now we're going to go all the way up here, where it says opacity. Opacity means how dark or light your line is going to be. We want ours to be very bright. So we're going to make sure our opacity is at 100%, which it is. If yours isn't, then just click on the little arrow. If you move your slider to 0%, your line will be invisible. But we don't want that. So we're going to make sure it's at 100%. OK, now we're ready to draw our line. Bring your brush to the tip of the balloon, right there. To draw the line, it's kind of like coloring. You're going to pretend like your mouse is the pencil. So you're going to click and drag to create your line. And when you're done, let go. Just like that. Good job, you're almost done. Now it's time to do the bubbles. This part may be a little bit tricky too, but remember, you got this. Right click with your mouse, and it's going to bring up this little window. Go to the top right corner. Do you see the little wheel? Click it. Now go to where it says import brushes. Perfect. Now you're going to find your AVAX folder again. You see your brush file? This is what it looks like. Click on it and click open. Great! Now you're going to scroll down until you find Indy's bubble brush. There it is. Now you're going to click it. Now go to your right and click right here. Now it's time to draw our bubbles. But first we need to create another layer. To create a new layer, go down to your bottom right with the square and the plus. And now you created a new layer. Now it's time to pick your bubble color. Now let's go back to our color picker box. Choose whatever color you want for your bubbles. I'm going to pick this color right here. But remember, you can pick whatever color you want. Once you're done, click OK. Do you see the big circle? That's your bubble. But it's really big, right? Remember, if you want to make your bubble smaller or bigger, use your brackets. I think I'm going to go smaller, so I'm going to click on my left bracket. There we go. Now you're going to click wherever you want to put a bubble, like this. Pretty cool, right? Let's put some more. Now I think I want to make some bubbles smaller. You can put as many bubbles as you want. Once you're done, that's it. Good job. See, I told you it was easy. Oh, one last thing. I'm going to show you how to save it as a JPEG so you can share it with your family and friends. Go to File on the top left corner. Now find Save As and click it. It's going to open up this little window. Do you see where it says Format? Go to the little arrows on the side. Look for JPEG and click it. Make sure you click your desktop right here. That's where it's going to save it so you can find it. Now the last step is to name your photo. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine Bubbles. 
When you're done, click Save. Then click OK. And you're done. I'll show you where you can find it. This is my desktop. Do you see my photo right here on the corner? There it is! Now I can send this to my cousins, my grandma, and my grandpa. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. See, I told you it wasn't going to be that hard. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Bye!